What's up guys? Today I got a little tutorial video for you. I'm going to be showing you how to get BlueStacks running on your PC and it's going to enable you to play all of your Android apps on your computer which is amazing. Um, since I started using this program I've been enjoy you know just playing the apps in general is more enjoyable um, you're not on a little phone or your tablet all the time you're on your computer screen you have your mouse you don't have to tap a screen um, it just makes it all around more enjoyable you can free up another device you could be playing one you know one account on your computer through BlueStacks and then on your other device that you use you could be playing a whole different account it's just awesome so here we go first you're gonna go to bluestacks.com and you're gonna come to this screen here you got two options you got Windows or you got Mac so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click download for Windows it's gonna bring you to this screen here it's gonna be advertising game pop you don't wanna click anything here um, I've never really checked out game pop so I wouldn't really recommend it you can go ahead be my guest and check it out if you would like um, and you're going to see in the bottom left hand uh, corner of the screen it is downloading so as soon as that's done you're going to want to click on that and it should be done any second here alright and once you click on that there we go once you click on that it's going to extract it then it's going to bring you to this screen if it ever gets there there we go alright now this is the screen. you're gonna go down here this is accepting the terms and license agreement you're gonna go ahead and hit continue then you're gonna hit next this is gonna install BlueStacks onto your um, computer leave all those boxes checked in hit install and then it's gonna bring you to this now this is gonna take about five minutes time so we're gonna skip past this and I'm going to get to the good part, show you what you actually need to do to get your current account with Castle Clash running on your BlueStacks. There we go. After it's down, done, done downloading, you're going to be brought to this loading screen. Now, this is the loading screen you're going to see every time that you open BlueStacks. And after this is done loading up, it's going to bring you to the pretty much the App Store. And then we're going to go on from there, and I'm going to show you what to do. Now, when I first downloaded BlueStacks and tried to get my main Castle Clash account working I ran into a little bit of a problem I'm gonna go over that so there we go once you get to this screen here you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit the mag the magnifying glass up there for search and it's gonna prompt you to this screen here now you're gonna let it go through its upgrading this is gonna only take a couple of seconds um, when that's done there will be uh, it'll bring you back to the other screen and you're gonna to wanna to search for an app after it's finished booting up here there we go you're gonna hit the magnifying glass again you're gonna type in whatever app you're looking for in this case it's Castle Clash of course best game on Android of all time in my opinion there we go you're gonna click on that it's gonna bring you to this screen here it's gonna say an enable app store you're gonna hit continue and it's going to bring you to add a Google account. Now, you want to enter in the Google account that is linked to the account you want to play on BlueStacks. You have to put in the same information or else you won't be able to play on that account. So you're going to go ahead and ent enter in your existing email and password. Now, if you're new, go ahead and make a new um, account. But if you want to play an existing account on here, this is what you have to do. So after you're done entering that in, it'll bring you to this. You're going to hit Next leave that box checked in there we go hit next um, that one's checked off now now you're gonna go to enable app sync just hit continue it's gonna load up there we go now it's gonna bring you to this screen it's gonna have the email you just entered in you're just gonna wanna re-enter your password to sign into Google then it's gonna log you in and there you go it's both checked off and then you're going to pre press let's go let's get on that blue stacks and get to clashing it up alright there we go next screen hit accept 
and then you're going to want to hit install to install the app now you're going to notice all those black bars like that there that's I put that on there to hide my information it's not going to be there when you're doing this alright once you hit open it's going to bring you to this little screen you're going to hit OK and it should open up momentarily takes a second once it uh, first gets going there you go now it's gonna load up Castle Clash for you now this is where I ran into a little bit of a problem so we're gonna go over that and hopefully if someone sees this that might have been having the same problem there you're gonna you're gonna be brought to this you're like what the fuck this isn't my account I entered in what the fuck is going on so that's what happened to me I didn't know what to do from here on and it's really simple actually and why it's like this I have no idea um, I thought somehow I didn't do something right I didn't know what was going on I was kinda you know I didn't know what to do from here so this is why I decided to make this video so here we go you're gonna hit the gear and you're gonna see like the normal uh, options you're gonna hit switch and once you hit switch it's gonna take you to a screen that says guest or it's gonna have an option to click on the email that you entered in there and that is what you're gonna to wanna to do you when you hit switch you're gonna to wanna to hit that email now mine's gonna be blocked off so you can't see my email I'm gonna do it real quick here there you go alright you're gonna hit OK for confirm change there you go sign in alright now it's gonna sign you in to the email that you entered. Why it doesn't do that in the first place, I have no idea, but that is what you have to do. So as soon as you do that, it's gonna load you up again while it switches the account. And now it should bring you to the account that you wanted to play on. And look, I, my base got wrecked. All right guys, well that's it. That is how you get your account uh, up and running on Bluestacks. Hopefully this video helps somebody out. Um, if it does, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks to everyone watching the video. You guys take care and have a great day.